And what's up everyone, welcome back to another video, it's me Eclipse, and today I'm going to be testing Kasurashi Security Cloud versus the NJ Lime Edition. So, I know I was gone for a little bit, but I just had really, really awful things to deal with. I don't have to deal with them anymore, so I have a bit more time now. A bit more, no, I'm not completely free either, but like... The worst is behind me right now. So, yeah, I'm free to test this and I'm going to just enable some things with, you know, Kaspersky. So, I'm not gonna enable everything. So, I'll go ahead and <clears throat> only enable a few. So, first things first, I'm going to, like everyone said, I am going to disable Kaspersky Security Network. Alright. And I will enable System Watcher first. So, first let me re enable everything and now let me disable the file antivirus. There we go. Alright, um, now we have file antivirus off and web AV is gonna be on. Oh, great. It just started to detect everything. Oh my god. Just stop, okay? Stop. Chill out. Don't detect everything already. We haven't even done anything yet. Okay, so, Conspiracy Security Network is off for now system watcher is on I'm going to disable web AV for now then we will actually you know what let's let's have web sh web shield on for now all right and then as we progress we are going to um we're going to re-enable more and more of them, so now let me get the NJ Lime ready and I'll be right back. Alright, so we have both of the things ready, so now I think we should just, you know, begin with the test. So, let's go ahead and run the first one with web antivirus, mail antivirus, and all of these. Of course, no real-time protection because that is unfair. So, let's go ahead and actually run this. All right, let's see what happens. Pretty sure. Yup, as expected. As expected, it was terminated. Let's see if it was deleted. Apparently not. It only terminated the process. So, um. Let's go ahead and check. Um, it just doesn't get deleted. Okay, so it was blocked. Let's disable web antivirus now and see if it still blocks it. The same executable as before. Okay, it's laggy, which is, of course, expected on this pile of garbage. So let's see. Oh, this should get blocked. Yep, there we go. That is... That is pretty impressive. That is pretty, pretty impressive. Process terminated as well. I think it would delete it. Later on restart. It is, it is, it is disabled, so... It blocked it so now I am going this is pretty much already a great thing so there we go we deleted it so let's make a backup copy of the copy of the this one and let's actually disable the system watcher that will also disable application manager all right so now we only have network attack blocker which is what I'm assuming also gonna block it but I'm kinda scared it's gonna blue screen 
because what happened in the uh, wise vector video like it blocked it in with the firewall but then it crashed so I'm guessing that same thing could happen now so let me actually see if that's gonna happen now I think it would honestly I think it would so let's let's see is it gonna block it it's on as you can see see if we got a connection we got a connection but I don't know for how long okay so what I'm really curious about is if it's gonna blue screen the computer or if it's not gonna that's what I'm curious about either way it should Right now you're probably saying to yourself Wait, attacker can still probably damage my system Well, about that, he can't Because when Kaspersky does advanced disinfection It blocks everything from running Look It blocks everything from running There's no way anyone can do anything As you can see This is something very, very interesting that I've figured out with Kaspersky it just blocks everything from running absolutely everything you cannot run anything no matter how hard you try everything just won't work so even Explorer you cannot open anything so your PC pretty much becomes like frozen So at this point this cannot be stopped so good luck with that even if you are at it at this point you cannot do anything which I am gonna prove right now. Let me just Where is the why is the remote desktop not work? Excuse me? No, you can't do anything. Like, remote desktop doesn't even work for some reason. What? Huh? Bad image? Well, that's interesting. It's definitely struggling to stay in the memory. And I cannot really do anything. I mean, I can't really do much. Like, nothing I do works. Nothing. This thing is pretty much dead. It's trying desperately, but it's dead. Let's wait for this thing to finish, and then we'll see what's gonna happen. Alright, and we're back into the system, and as I expected, we got no connection. So I am pretty confident, and Kaspersky did a great job with deleting both of the executables and actually protecting our system. So I'm quite frankly impressed also with the advanced disinfection because it got rid of absolutely everything bad on this. On the desktop, which I had, you know, two of the main executables, and it just blocked both of them. Out of complete, completely blocked both of them. So I am still very, very proud of this product. It works great. I don't need this. Thank you. This product is still amazing. It works great, and it it's still pretty fine. I'm stopping the scan. I know this scan. Is, this computer is safe. This computer is safe. I am sure. So. 
we don't need that. But yeah. I know it's gonna just say some garbage, but like we do not care. <laughs> so this system is pretty much fine. There's nothing in memory which I am going to prove right now. As you can see, nothing is in memory, so we are completely safe and completely fine, and everything is operative and responsive yet again. So Kaspersky did a great job, like I kind of expected. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to share and like the video, and you know, I'm gonna be making more of these, and also a suspicious and malicious email attachment test with both Kaspersky and Avast. So make sure you keep an eye out for that one as well. I'm going to edit here and I'll see you guys in the next video.